Hey, Aaron, welcome to this week's Talking Beards, the podcast episode. Who's going to be on it this week? This week, our very, very special guest will be John Buffont Fontenant from Beard Mob, Louisiana. Wow, that's so far away. What's going on in Louisiana this weekend? There will be the Backyard Beer Brawl, Beard Brawl, in West Monroe, Louisiana. Did you this- say Beard bra? Yeah, backyard beard bra. All the bras are going to be there? Like, dude, what's up, bra? Yeah, that's it. You got it. They're definitely not going to brawl. Oh, all the bros are going to brawl? You got bras? it. Yeah, Wait. it's going to be amazing. Wow, all the bros are going to brawl in their brawls. In the backyard. In the backyard. In L.A. Jeez, that's a lot. That's a lot. Yeah, I mean, apparently you're going to have to like listen to the show to really decipher what the heck is going on here. So yeah, I pretty much lost track as well. I know it got, it got really confusing really fast. So, but middle, make sure you listen to the show because it'll all get laid out for you perfectly clear about what's going on and where you need to be and when. So, uh, when should everyone listen to the Talking Beards podcast, Aaron? You should listen to the Talking Beards podcast right now. Welcome to the Talking Beards Podcast, an entertainment news show all about the world of facial hair. You can catch the show live every Tuesday night at 8 p.m. Eastern by going to TalkingBeards.com. While you're at the website, you can check out all the other cool things that we do. We cover the latest news going on in the beard and mustache world from competitions, contests, fundraisers, and all the charity work. We also have special guests each week talking about what they're doing to make a difference in the facial hair world. We also do trivia each week with really great prizes, compliments of Honest Amish. So make sure you tune in every Tuesday night, 8 p.m. at TalkingBeards.com. Now let's get on with the show. Oh my. Everyone, welcome to the Talking Beards pre-show podcast. I don't know where Aaron's at. He's too busy playing with Natalie's balls. Isn't that right, Aaron? That's right. They're not sticking out far enough, so they can't turn her balls. Isn't that right, Aaron? That's right. Yeah, so I felt I I didn't need to continue on. Oh, there he is. He's back. Oh, hey. Oh, Aaron's here now. Oh, Aaron's here now. Yeah, sorry. I was distracted. Weren't we all distracted, though? Weren't, Weren't we all distracted, though? Weren't we all distracted, though? Natalie got some new earrings, and I'm trying to get the little tiny balls in, and it was not working out. Oh, my. And that's what I call an ear situation. Your ears. Yeah. 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 What's going on on your phone, Scott? What's going on with my phone? I'm just getting a message. What's happening? People say they're going to check the show out tonight. They better. They better is right. They better. And if you're listening to this recorded, we are live every Tuesday at 8 o'clock Eastern on Talking Beards Facebook page. Or TalkingBeards.com. Or TalkingBeards.com. Better on TalkingBeards.com, you can also buy shirts with my face on it and Scott's face. No, and I don't. there's no Scott's face shirts yet. You need some Scott's face shirts. I can't. I'm having a hard time. You can. You can also buy Talking Beards pants. Pants, yes. Yeah. They're more like yoga pants, so. Well, it's still pants. I didn't say they were jeans. No, I know. Well, but I mean, they're not really specifically made for men. They're more made for women. And they're They are unisex. Uni. Uni. Unisex. So yeah. men can wear yoga pants too, you know, Scott. They can, but they're not very comfortable. It's 754. I know. I was just telling you what time it was. I know. We can also get, there's a couple different coffee cups on there too. Our, oh, I wonder if we can put the Tyler Hills talking beard stuff on our page. Well, if that's a thing. Maybe. 
I mean, it was on Teespring. Yeah, maybe. What are you drinking there? Uh, nothing. If you drank half of a five-hour energy, would you only have energy for two and a half hours? That's how that works. I like this. How does I it know, know though? Uh, it's in the liquid. Oh. Obviously. So not only do we have coffee cups, but we have two brand new shirts that we just premiered this past week. Tell us about them, Scott. Well, number one, my new favorite one is the Aaron dark silhouette picture saying with his catchphrase, we did it on it. It's I've never even said that before. I know. I don't You're know. You're making this stuff up. I know. Well, we're still, I'm still, I'm trying to find a good picture of me so I can make a, I like this shirt. You like this. I do like this. And uh, so then our second shirt, which this shirt has been like months in the making, but the uh, the Goat brother shirt. So if any of you guys have been following Aaron and I for the past couple years, um, our good friend Josh Black made this really funny uh uh, he superimposed our faces on the Step Brothers uh, CD or DVD cover, and it's super funny. So, but we decided to make it into a shirt because everyone needs to have this shirt. Yeah, because it's really good. Everybody, everyone. Remember that time that we copied that uh, Step Brothers image from other people? Yeah, and then, we, and then we signed it and we sold it. Yeah. We're cool. Now we're actually selling it. So Yeah, now we're actually <laughs> selling it. I know. For one million dollars. Everyone's gonna hate us now because we're 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 monetizing on our beards right now. Can you believe oh, no. that? Well, you know, we're just trying to pay for the show that we've been paying for out of our pocket. That's yeah, all. I know. We're we're not getting rich at all. Unless we hire Rich to be on our show. That's where we're using the money for. Yeah, good old Rich. We're going to hire him. He's like, I want to help guys, but it's going to cost this much money every month. And we'll be like, all right, Rich, we'll pay you. But we just got to sell shirts and stuff so we can do it. (laughs) Good old Rich. We got to send Matt and clear the link. You better hurry. Okay. Hurry. Matt McLeod of McLeod's News. Gamal. Why do you call him Matt McClear? Because that's his name. Oh. Why Why has no one ever told me this? Oh, because we do tell you every week, but you decide to call him that. Oh. I thought it was McCloud. No. I like McCloud better. Well, I know. That's what you call him. <laughs> but we just want to make sure everyone knows that his name is actually Matt McClear of Beard Laws. Matt McClear of Beard Laws. Seven fifty eight. Matt McLeod. Formerly, artist formerly known as. Artist formerly known as. Okay, it's 758. I'm going to take a, that is so good. Oh, it is. Oh, we need our scroller. Ooh. I'll find it. Take a big sip of water. Our scroller so it doesn't look like our screen is frozen. So that way people know that when we go at 759, when we go live. People don't think they're just listening to the podcast because it's just a stagnant video. You said refresh. You said stagnant. Yeah, he heard you. Refreshing. Refreshing. One person and wants to join the group. BJ Reader. Well, we're gonna prove him. We did it. We're live. We're live. We're going we're live. I like this. BS button beard bulletin board. I, I, you know what I've really enjoyed? Tell us what you've really enjoyed. I mean, tell us what you really enjoyed. I really enjoyed the fact that you don't call it the BS button bulletin boards of buttons anymore. You've, you've really grown up. Boy, have we? I, you've grown up. I have. Oh my gosh, we're live. I can see it right there. Hey. Oh, hey. Okay, so I got to go videos. Then I got to click on this one. You've, I you've really grown. And then I had to click that because every time I do it, it just starts playing. And then I have to click this embed. I copy it. You said embed. Yes. And then I go over to talkingbeards.com. I paste it. I 
set it, apply it, save it, and now everyone can go over to TalkingBeards.com and they can watch the show live over there. You know what else they can do? Um, They can... Oh, look at all the people in the chat room already. I guess what? I give up chicken butt. We did it! Oh, hey! My lord. What? George Anderson says he likes the whispering. It sounds dirty. George Anderson the IV. F- That's what happens when you uh you go to the doctor. Yes. George Anderson is a doctor. He's a doctor. He's like, I need fluids. No, stat. That's what they say. Stat. Stat. So if you're if you're a nurse or a doctor, let us know. Stat. That means right now. Yeah. Right now. Oh. Your puppet is what? stupid. Look who joined us. It's Chef Jeff. Chef. Oh, hey. Oh. I invented pizza roll tacos. Oh, OJ Cortez is here. You know, that's Dan Cortez's cousin from MTV. What? I know. This is amazing. I know we we have all of- the celebrities watching us tonight. And their cousins. It's pretty neat. Yeah, well, you know, that's basically the same thing. So. Whoa, you just activated that little round disc thing. <laughs> I did. (laughs) I didn't go, hey, Dan Cortez, tell me what the weather is today. It didn't work that time. It did not work. No. So what's up tonight? This is episode number 59 of Talking Beards. I am your uh, co-host, Aaron D. Johnston. I am live in the Aiken, South Carolina studios of Talking Beards. And yeah, so tonight our special guest will be John Fontenot or Buffont, as many people know him. He is the co founder of the Beard Mob Beard Club and the current president of Beard Mob LA. Los Angeles. Oh, yeah, Los Angeles, not Louisiana, if that's what you're thinking. Yeah. So, who are you? I am Scott Sakura, and I have something on my shoulder, apparently. What side is it there? It's a chip. <laughs> You have a chip on your shoulder. Shucks. Uh, Boy, yes. do you. And do I. So, but yeah, I am Scott Sakura. I am broadcasting live out of Chardon, Ohio, out of the Chardon, Ohio Talking Beards studios. Um, you can find out more information about us by going to TalkingBeards.com. Uh, there you can you can check out shirts. We got some really cool stuff in our store, merchandise stuff. You can subscribe to the podcast, which comes out every Friday morning. Uh, there's a whole bunch of other cool stuff on there, so please go over there and check it out. Um, you can also find us on Facebook at facebook.com slash Talking Beards. Uh, go over there, like us, and that's pretty much about it. Hey, this this person, Jason Boykin, will Boykin. be in Graniteville, South Carolina on Thursday. I basically live in Graniteville, South Carolina, Jason. So, hey. Basically. Basically. It's like right up the road. <clears throat> Literally. Oh, hello, right up the road. hello, Monty Mittner. I've never heard of him. Mittner, Bittner. Whoa, look at he could go in there too. He could. Mittner, He's a lawyer. Bittner, Rittner, and as we see, the other one is in here too. Weinstein. <laughs> <laughs> wow, we've got all the, we have lawyers in the house tonight, so wow. this is going to be a very uh, important episode of Talking Beards because we'll have. Lawyers. Mittner, Rittner, Bittner, and Weinstein. This is exciting. I know. Wow. All right. So much going so, on. What else is going on? Do we need to do anything else right now? Well, at the uh at the uh beginning of the show, um we do one thing before we start getting into the BS button beard bulletin board, and it's the one most super important thing that everyone who watches the show needs to do tonight. This is important. Mm-hmm. So if you're watching the show. You know what you're supposed to do right now. Share. Share this episode. Yeah, who's that? Uh that is Share. Sitting in Uncle Sai's hand. And he's like, Hey, check it out. He's like, Hey, this is Share. Share. You should share her. Look at so, she's got her open toe shoes on there. Yeah. Open toe shoes. And there's a duck in the background. Is that duck? I bet that thing's got so much dynasty. That's a Canadian goose, you moron. Same thing. It is not. It's a fancy duck. It is not. Yeah, it is. Fancy duck. Yeah, it's like, oh. That's the Andrew Matson ducks right there. That is right there in the background. Canadian. 
See what I did there? Summer Hibbler says, y'all's Photoshopping kills me. It ain't us. We don't know how to Photoshop. We uh, we have Andrew people. Andrew Madsen and Tyler Hill do 99% of our Photoshopping. So thank you guys for helping us out because Scott and I are not very uh, technologically advanced. Yeah, yeah. We uh, we do good to do this show. That's about it. See, there we go. We got Bittner in here too. Our good yeah. buddy Bittner. So Greg Rittner is the only one that's not uh, – here. He's too busy out partying. He's going to call us, and he's going to be like 20,000 people behind him, and he's like, oh, I'm in a quiet area. Yeah, he's probably making his wife mad, and she's freaking beating him up right yeah, now. Probably. Yeah. <clears throat> that is so exactly how you sound. So after we share our episode, the first thing we do after that is we go to the BS Button Beard Bulletin Board. Of and, butts. No. <sighs> oh, my God. You're such a You reminded me. I know. I know. I got to get it up. I was, too, we were too busy messing around earlier, but yeah, um, we were you and that mouse in your pocket. Yeah. Me and that mouse in my pocket. So, uh, as we said earlier, um, what we do now is we go to the BS button beard bulletin board and the BS button beard bulletin board is a place for you to go to post anything that you want to post on there. So if you have a fundraising event coming up or a charity event, or you're doing going to a beard competition or, you know, whatever. If you're if you're doing something cool out there in the beard community, this is the place you want to post it. So you can get to it by going to our Facebook page, and then right underneath our header, right there, right about in, I'll miss this area right here. That's where you're, it's going to say visit group. You're going to hit that, and then it'll take you over here. So we are going to go right into the BS Bun Beard Bulletin Board. So first off, we have uh, Fawn Hall. Never heard of her. Fawn Hall of Fawn Hall and Associates. Yes. So she posts this uh, competition. I have no idea about this. might be the first time we've heard about this. The uh, 11 This is going to be the most important beard competition of the year is until it? we get to Akron, Ohio. Uh, this is the 11th annual Southeastern Beard and Mustache Championships. It'll be held downtown Charleston on May 23rd. Doors will be at 6 o'clock. Competition will start promptly at 8 o'clock. So if you're in the Charleston area on Memorial Day weekend, you should come by the music farm, check it out, and come hang out. I'm, so I'm pretty sure be, I'm gonna be there. I'm pretty sure I might be there as well. Mm -hmm. So it's sponsored yeah, by we'll Honest yeah. Amish too. Don't forget honestamish.com. Honestamish.com with lasers. Thank you. All right, Aaron. This was an important one that you wanted to talk about here. <sighs> yeah, I uh I lost my phone. Um so this as most of y'all know, and if you don't know, you're about to know, um, there was a tornado in downtown Nashville last night, and uh, it, it it wreaked havoc, and a lot of people have passed away, and I think there was something like 50 structures that have been destroyed, and uh, Nashville is a very, very important town to me, so I I think that anybody that's, you know, in in close at all to the Nashville area, just think about those people and all that good stuff. But if you're going to any competitions or thinking about doing any competitions, this would be a good one. Um, it's the Nash Vegas competition. It's still going on. I, I reached out to those guys, uh, the bearded villains of Tennessee, and they said that they're still doing their competition. Um, it's March 7th, um, 6th Ave, Nashville. Um, I don't know. Just help those guys out. They're going to have a, a donation deal set up for the victims of the tornado. And like I said, it, it'd be, it'd be huge for uh, them to have a really good turnout and it'd be really good for the city of Nashville to have a good turnout for that competition. So um, we've also posted a link to one of the uh, fundraisers for the victims of the Nashville tornadoes last night. Um, they're, they're going to set up another relief and once we get that, we'll, we'll definitely post it up as well, but go, go, uh, go support the beard of villains of Tennessee, the a good group of guys and, and Nashville could use everybody's support right now. So it's still going on. So go check it out. Yes. All right. So then the next thing on the BS button beard bulletin board, <clears throat> pardon me, nah, next week's yes, episode. So you can go back real quick. Um, if you go in there and you read in the comments, there's there's a little bit more information in there. So thank you. That's it. All right. 
Um, okay, so the next week, you guys got to tune in for this super. This is going to be a super awesome show next week. So so stupid. So Aaron's going to eat the world. So if you guys caught it like a couple weeks ago, Aaron did one little piece of this little chocolate here. And uh, so next week, he's going to do the whole entire candy bar. So tell us a little bit about this. Okay, so I've done a little bit of research. Uh, ben Samuels of BS Buttons fame sent me this little uh, world's hottest chocolate Ooh. bar. It's um, it's tiny. Uh, I mean, it's not very big, but you know what else uh, is tiny? Shup, Scott. So, um, what was it? Two weeks ago, I ate a little tiny square. It's probably the size of like a dime, maybe. And yeah, so it was super freaking hot. So what you're supposed to do with this little bar is break it into twelve little squares, and every minute you eat another square, and. At, at the end of the whole whole deal, it's like nine million Scoville units. And a couple of years ago, I ate the that chip. You now I think it was like one point five million or two million, and that thing was ridiculously hot. So I'm probably going to die next week. And yeah, so tune in next week and and just see what happens. We don't we don't know if we're going to try to interview somebody or if I'm just going to do tongue twisters the whole episode or I'll Ooh. just eat it and pass out. I don't know, but we'll try to have a good time with it. And next week I won't have to go to work right after the episode. So that was, that was kind of the planning. Cause I'm probably not going to feel like going to work after eating this thing. So tune in next week and see how awful it'll be. It'll either be a really good episode, a funny episode, or it's just going to be a disaster. Tune in and find out. Yes. Paul, Paul says our rest in peace, Aaron. Also, but Michelle says out. that too. Yeah. Rest in peace, Aaron. Yeah, that, that'll be me. Um, Ken McClear is here. He's here in the house right now. Ken McClear? I wonder if he knows Matt McClear. Or Matt McLeod. Wait. Oh, oh, see, now it's all coming together for you, isn't it? After the little discussion we had at the at the pre-show. What was our discussion? It's McClear, not McLeod. Oh, crap. Never mind. He doesn't know them. They're not related or they don't know anything because they have completely different names. Matt McLeod and Matt McLear are two different people. Thank you. All right. We have some new members in the thing, in the board. Here's our list. Uh, Scott Welsh, the second. The first, he didn't want to have anything to do with it. So we're yeah, like, page was stupid. we're like, Mr. Welsh, we need to have your son do this. And he was like, all right. Well, and then he gave us, so he was like, uh, Percy Herman, Bill Shalalais, Jacqueline Smith. Oh, that's that's very f- franchet. Uh Malorena Ferrant, Tom Vonderleet. Sounds like we have a lot of people from overseas here. Jeremy Heaps. Thanks to Heaps, Jeremy. Thanks to Heaps. Tiffany Jones, Tom Jones's daughter, Jennifer Noel, Ted Wills, Ava Lena, uh Marcus Anderson, Marcus Aaron Anderson, and Chris Miller. He's got a good middle name. Aaron, he does. All right. So then you posted also about the uh, tornado. Uh, yeah, that's, relief that's here. one of the one of the the links that I found so far. Yeah. Um. Geez. Let's see. The yeah. Great. So another another link about it right there. Um. Our good buddy Daniel Command from Daniel C Bearded, who appears on YouTube every Monday, Wednesday, Monday. Sorry, Monday and Wednesday nights at nine p.m. Just go over to YouTube, look for Dan C Bearded. Um, he went up to uh, Flint. Was it? Was that where it was? I don't know. Hopefully, he didn't drink the water. I know, but he was up in up by Detroit, and uh, some of our good buddies from the Murder City Facial Hair Club were there uh, for a competition. So we got to see some cool pictures of those guys. So he got to he got to hang out with some of our cool dudes. Um, and I'm excited because I get to hang out with Dan this weekend. So uh, we got some really cool stuff in the works coming up. So. Um, all right. Then our guest, John Fontenot, uh, posted T minus five days and counting till mob fest three. Are you ready to mob up Aaron? Oh, I'm ready. I'll be there. So we'll talk a little bit more about this when our guest comes on here shortly. Uh, so we can get through this. Um, Dakota Watts, he wanted to thank us for the, uh, great prizes that he received. He got some balm and some soap. Look at that. Look at that. He's going to look and smell so good. His friend is going to look and smell so good. Yeah. Don't forget, Kenny Parbell, take out your trash. Take your trash out, Kenny Parbell. 
Also, Summer Hibbler got her goods in the mail today. Here she got her that. autographed bottle of classic beard oil from Honest Amish. Yeah, she got some uh, winnings from trivia. So see, sometimes we do send out our trivia winnings. Oh, look at this! Another winner, Michelle Emerson. She got Michelle. also received her stuff, which. Uh, as she said, she was going to keep the soap, and she's giving away the beard balm. So good for her. The way to spread the wealth. Thank you for sharing the Honest Amish products. We greatly appreciate it. Um, all right. So Jefferson City, Missouri, uh, on September 12th, Beards for Vets 3 at the Twin Bridges Beer or Bar and Grill. Sorry. Um, this Aaron Crushell showed shared yeah. this with us. So. Uh, we'll, we'll talk a little bit more about this as we get closer to September. So, uh, talk about this one, Aaron. Yeah. So this is, uh, this weekend in Greensboro, North Carolina, it's Carolina BAM, so ninth annual competition. Uh, they'll be presented by the bearded goat this year. That is where their, uh, pre-party generally is. And it's always a really good time. And this is the first time since, uh, we started bearding in 2014 that this will be the first time we've ever missed this competition. Uh, it just kind of worked out that we were already asked to judge, uh, beer vet, a uh, beer mob, beard, backyard beer brawl. Wow. Um, yeah, in Louisiana. So. You know, we, we couldn't be in two places at the same time, but everybody in the East Coast area or you can travel to it. It's it's a great time. Uh, Carolina Bams, a good, fantastic group of guys. And yeah, go check them out. Thank you. Jeff Williams, the Ohio mob captain is here. Thank you for joining us tonight. We greatly appreciate <laughs> having you here. Uh, all right. What is that? Oh, yeah. This be hairy. Do good. Thank be you. Hairy, do good. Um, all right. All uh, right. Beards of the Old Northwest. Oh, yeah. Never heard of them. Never heard of them. So, all right. So if any of you guys are coming out to Akron, Ohio for the um, Beards in the Wild competition um, on, what's the date? August 1st. Uh, we wow. Just, <laughs> you should say, what's the date? <laughs> I, dude, I got a thousand things on my mind right now. I'm kind of like. Ben, I'm eating it next Tuesday. See you next Tuesday, Ben. So we got we got hotel rooms for ninety nine dollars per night. So uh, get in there. There's information here on the BS Bunbeard bulletin board. Scroll down or message me, uh, Joshua Gregor. He posted some pictures uh, from this past weekend. Uh, this was at the was this the Philadelphia competition? Yeah, this was at the Dave and Buster's in downtown Philly. Um, there's a lot of good pictures, and it looked like an amazing time. I was really hoping that we it was going to work out that we went up there, but. Obviously, it didn't work out, but it was. It looked like a really good competition. All right, Brandon Edward Reader says to save, save the, the date. date. Beard Battle LA. Look at that. That's a really good uh, picture of the Los Angeles Club Look right there. I'm picking Natalie's nose. <laughs> but that, I mean, picking your nose yeah. now. Such a good club right there. Picking so many noses in this picture. Yeah. So. uh uh, if you guys are want to plan on this one, September 5th uh, this year. So, But we'll talk a little bit more about that one as we get closer to that one, too. Uh, Ava Stephanie wants to uh, have us check out the Pugilist brand beard care, mustache, wax, and men's grooming products. She posts every week on this. So uh, hopefully you guys go over and check that out. Um, some good products. Oh, darn. Lee BMG. This content is not available, Lee. It's not available. Uh, but yeah, so every Friday at 1 p.m., Lee's show goes live because he's broadcasting from England. So it is like uh, six or seven o'clock there, if I remember, seven o'clock. Um, so you guys can check it out. Really awesome dude. Has some really great stuff. Play some tunes and stuff. Um, and there it is. Look at that amazing shirt. Okay, everyone. If you guys want to get your hands on one of these super awesome Goat Brother shirts, Go over to talkingbeards.com at the top. There's a little bar at the top and just click on store and you can order this super awesome shirt, the Goat That's Brother it. shirt. And then the other one is the Aaron's classic We Did It shirt. I love this shirt. It's a good looking shirt. It is a good looking shirt. So if you want to pick up either one of those shirts for you, for a family member, for they make great birthday gifts, you can just go over to talkingbeards.com. Click on the store button. It'll take you over to the Talking Beards uh, Teespring page where we have tons of different uh, merchandise. We have pants, socks, coffee mugs, 
We have it all. We have it all. Uh, let's see, Joshua Gregor, more pictures from last week. Uh, ben Samuels, this is a picture of Aaron in the middle of the night eating his stupid Christmas tree cakes. It is. And what's funny was Ben sent me this. Uh, someone that I work with put this exact picture on my desk. He printed it out and stuck it to my wall. Are you serious, my- Clark? Yeah. You still have that's that, it. You still have that damn puppet on your head. What? I see oh. No, this is this isn't a puppet. This is Chef Jeff. Shut up. He's hanging out. So live from upstate New York, from the Beard Law Studio. It is Beard News with Matt McClear. Oh there. my God! Look at that. Nailed it. Are y'all happy now? I know I am. Chef Jeff looks super happy. He is. He doesn't even I have mean. any teeth. He can't even smile. Ah. I got an uncle that doesn't have any teeth, and he likes to smile. That's gross. Yeah. See? What's up, Matt? How's it going, guys? It's going, hey, sir. So, good evening. I'm Matt, and this is your Talking Beard News, brought to you by Beard Laws. In an article by the LED Bible, a young man decided it was time to grow up and join the Bearded Brotherhood. Riley, a young man from East Yorkshire, wanted to be just like his dad, which is pretty typical for most young men. He wanted to have his dad's beard, so he took it upon himself to make that happen. Riley finished his dinner and went upstairs to play just like any typical night. What he was up to, though, that wasn't like any other night. He was upstairs getting himself a beard. When he thought it was good to go and he just came bursting into the room where his parents were, yelling, I'm just like daddy. He drew on a beard very similar to his father's. If you look at the pictures, it appears to be Sharpie marker. Thankfully, it was not. It was his mother's eyeliner. Thankfully. I have to admit. Yeah, thank God. Could you imagine? I have to admit, though, that the beard work by Riley, it's pretty impressive. And I think it honestly looks a little bit better than his dad's. No offense, dad. Maybe Riley can give a couple of pointers to his dad. Sadly, the beard had to come off in 15 minutes of scrubbing off mom's expensive eyeliner. He was back to being a beardless boy. The good news is mom now hides the eyeliner much better. It was not noted in the article if she hides the markers, though. If he does it in marker, hopefully it's one of those awesome scented ones because I really like those. It's funny and acceptable when a child wants to be like his father and apply a beard using marker or eyeliner. But adults, let's not take this idea and run with it. Let's not draw on beards. But if you do, please post on the post the picture on the BS button so we can all see it. Yes, we all want to look at it. So if you have any good pictures, make sure you post it over there. Yes. So draw on your beard and marker and uh, we'll, we'll like that. So in other news, a ginger bearded man marries his wife and they become the first couple to have a KFC themed wedding. Bonus points to anyone in the chat that can guess where this wedding took place. Katie and her bearded husband, Harrison, became the first people in the world to use KFC's wedding service, which launched in 2019. They won a competition that was held by KFC, KFC beating out almost 2,000 other fans. That's right. 2,000 other fans tried to get a KFC wedding. They weren't clucking around when they made up their own version of Fresh Prince of Bel-Air theme song, talking about how much they love each other, and they were eventually deemed the winner. Everything was KFC-themed, from the cake to the photo booth, that were all designed allegedly by the colonel himself. KFC paid for the whole thing, and anybody that wins, they will actually pay up to 200 guests. I wonder, going into the event, though, what the over-under was and how many times finger-licking good would be said. I know if it was me, I probably would have had that in my vows a couple of times. So you're probably wondering why the Australian couple wanted to have a KFC wedding. Well, they actually had their first date at a KFC in 2017. They kept the wedding theme a a secret from all of the guests. And when they started to arrive, they were all stunned. They had personalized buckets, personalized shirts, a KFC food truck, KFC wedding cake, and even a Colonel style singer, which I'd really like to find some video footage on that. Anyone that's interested in having a similar experience, you can request them on the KFC wedding website. If you have more passion than any of these lovebirds, the Colonel is looking for its biggest fan to be the face of its next campaign. The winner will take part in an exclusive photo shoot showcasing their finest finger licking skills. That was right from the site. I feel like there's a joke in there, but I'm I'm just going to move past that. The clucky applicant will see their face in lights with their photo showcase in restaurants and on their very own billboard. I think the face of the campaign might as well be a big bearded face. So if anyone out there is interested, you can enter by tweeting them. Side note, 
we were sadly not sponsored by KFC or the Colonel to do this news article. Did you try? Did you even try? Yeah, I, uh, I actually did. I, I tweeted them. <laughs> I was joking. No, I really did. I was like, hey, got this cool show every Tuesday talking beards. We're going to talk about your KFC themed wedding. You know, you want to throw us some chicken or even some of them fries? We'll uh, we'll, we'll we'll talk about it. Throw, throw a chicken. Away. Don't throw chicken at me. I mean, not right at you. Oh, but. You were being like facetious. Yes, yeah, pro. So Nat- Natalie and I are going to have a KFC wedding. Nice. Can you renew your vows? Yeah, we are. She's learning this right now. Nice. Make sure uh, I'll set the over under for uh, how many times finger licking good is set at the wedding. Forty two. Oh, I think it's gonna be way higher than that. I can do that because I'll be the best man. So I'll make sure that in my speech, I'll I'll say it at least forty three times. That way, you, uh, that no. way you win, Matt. No, yeah. Matt. That's <laughs> over. You lose. Uh, Price is right rules. All right, Matt. So sure. who's who's gonna be on your show this week? Um, Greg Runge from TikTok is gonna be our guest. Mm. All right, so Thursday night at 9 p.m. over on Facebook, you can watch the show live. Go over to the uh, Beard Laws page over there and uh, make sure you tune into the show. Join in the chat room and uh, follow Matt at Beard Laws and go over to BeardLaws.com and check out more information about him. Absolutely. That was great. You like that? I've done that before. Hey, man, that's because we appreciate you. We appreciate you. And breaking news. Whoa. Yep, yep. The Beard Laws show every Thursday at 9 o'clock is also going to be live on YouTube. What? Are you serious, Clark? Very serious. I had a lot of people say that they're... Uh... <laughs> had, uh, we're waiting. Had a lot of people say... Uh, what? Uh, tag your it? Mm-hmm. That's... They, they, didn't, they didn't like Facebook. Oh, fantastic. Thanks, Scott. That sounds great. (laughs) We appreciate you, Matt. And uh, yeah, tune in to Beard Laws. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you, guys. We'll see you next week, Matt. Thank you. Yeah, good show. Okay, bye. Get him out of here. That did not go as you planned. I know. Well, he froze. I I don't know what you were talking about. He froze. Oh, he didn't freeze on my end. Oh, like he just completely stopped and he froze. And I was just like trying to put words in his mouth the whole time. Nope, that was just on your end. That you, so, wait to shut up. You who, shut wait up. a minute, Aaron. Aaron, what? Who are we going to be talking to right now? That's what I was about to say. Oh, sorry. That's my bad. <laughs> Live from, I'm assuming, West Monroe, Louisiana. Los Angeles. Oh, yeah. West Monroe, Los Angeles. Uh, John Buffont Fontenant. The third. The, uh, co-founder of the beard mob beard club he is the current president of beard mob la and yeah he's all around jack of all trades so let's get him in here what's up buffon what's up y'all what's up man how are you doing tonight sitting on the porch sipping you you look good you look good sitting on the porch any celebrities out there today (laughs) no not many oh you sure well, out in Los you're, Angeles, there's celebrities all over the place, man. <laughs> <laughs> so if you live in Louisiana, why are you doing a competition in Los Angeles this weekend? Yeah, it's in Louisiana this weekend. It's, oh, Scott, don't know what he's talking about. I, oh, well, you keep putting I L.A. <laughs> everything, so I was just super confused. Yeah, it's down <laughs> so, here in uh, Western Rail, Louisiana. Where's the, fun. What, where is that at, though, exactly? How, how close are you to uh, New Orleans? Uh, I'm about five hours away. That's far. That's not close at all. Yeah. That's like, halfway, that's like halfway across the country. <laughs> basically. Nah. Awesome. All right. So uh, this is your second event? Yes, sir. Uh, we had our first one back in February of 2019, and it benefited the uh, Northeast Louisiana Children's Home. Is it going to be the same charity this year? No, sir. It's going to be the Northeast, Northeast Louisiana War Veterans Home. Sweet. How did you get hooked up with them? Uh, just called them up and told them what we wanted to do. And how did and, they? Uh, and how does a a organization like that take? Hey, we want to have a charity event for you. Are you guys cool with that? How was their reaction to that? They were surprised that we wanted to give our money that we raised to them. They were like, oh, "Okay, sure." 
That's yeah. cool. That's cool. Yeah. We want your money, they said. So yeah. <laughs> that's awesome, man. That's that's what it's all about. So uh yep. uh so you you pretty well all prepared for this weekend? You you ready to go or Yeah, that's pretty much it. We're ready to go. Yeah, I saw uh, saw your back porch. Looks good. Yeah, yeah. lights everywhere. We're ready. It's all lit up. Um yep. So uh I don't know. Do you do you have any uh special announcements for this weekend? Do you have any yeah. any special guests showing up or anything like that? Uh we got a little special guest. We got Cy Robertson of Duck Dynasty. He's gonna be there from four to six on Saturday. What? Uh, Is he gonna pictures. be holding chair? Did you did you see our picture earlier? <laughs> I seen that and that was awesome. <laughs> He's gonna yeah. look just like this He's chair all night. Yeah. So what's he going to be doing from four to six? He's just going to be hanging out or he's going to be doing duck calls the whole night. <laughs> no, he's going to be uh, taking pictures, signing books, and he's going to donate, I think, 10% of whatever he makes to the charity as well. Sweet. How did yep. you end up scoring that one? Oh, because you're in Los Angeles and that's where all the celebrities <laughs> hang out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, that was done by, uh, done by Erica Wiles and Mitch Bratton. Those Sweet. two work over at the, the venue. Oh, is that? Is that the the duck place? No, the venue is the Backstreet Food and Pub. Yeah, you dummy, oh. Aaron. Aren't you not listening know. to what's going on here? <laughs> I don't pay attention. Yeah, you don't. What? <laughs> I said you don't pay attention. Shut up. Next question, Aaron. Go ahead. Um. So, uh, do you have a list of your judges for this? Yeah, week? I do. We got Mr. George A. Anderson. The uh, Nate huh? IV. George A. Anderson IV, yes. Yeah, the one so who's he's sick. Doctor. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> good. Nate Johnson. We got uh, Josh Barefoot whoa, whoa. Thompson. Whoa, 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 whoa. You can't just like throw Nate Johnson right out there and be yeah, like, oh, let's go, go on to someone else. I mean, I'm Where Nate, did this Nate Johnson come from? Louisiana. It's kind Louisiana. of breaking news, right? He's from, he's from the boot. Yeah. So has this been announced anywhere? No, this is hot news right now. Drop to everybody. Nate right Johnson. Breaking news, Buffon. Yeah, you're breaking ex- news. I'm sorry. Breaking news. Gosh, sorry, breaking Nate, news. John, uh, you're Nate ex- Johnson. Your it's excitement gonna- levels like this. We need it to be like this. Yeah. Okay. Way up. Kick there. it up a little bit. Can put a little Nate Cajun. Fucking Johnson, man, is gonna be there. What? That's right. Wow. There we go. There you go. That's what that's I'm talking about. Better. <laughs> yeah. So that's that's pretty awesome, man. Uh, pretty yep. excited about having old Nate down there. Yeah, it's gonna be awesome. So we got him, Josh Barefoot Thompson. I ain't seen him in a while. And then uh Mr. Aaron and Miss Natalie. Hey, that's us. Aaron and Natalie uh Smith? John John Stone. Oh, John Stone. Yeah, that's us. Yeah. That's yeah, we'll that's be. the Louisiana version of you guys. That's right. And uh yeah, we'll be down there late Friday night and we'll hook up with y'all and do whatever y'all are doing at that point in time. So, so what's going on Hopefully, Friday night? I think Friday about four is going to be the uh, meet and greet starts. We're going to have a mini golf tournament where that money's going to the charity as well. Or I'm thinking all day Friday, the golf, the golf prices are going to go to charity all day. Whoever plays. When so, and where is the, uh, the golf tournament right there at the venue. And we're going to start about four o'clock. What time is it going to be done? Uh, I think it's going to take a couple hours because after that, you got mob karaoke if you want to go in there and sing your hearts out. I was singing to Aaron earlier before everyone. I didn't record it, though, because I don't want he people was. to hear it. But let him sing a little bit of taste of your karaoke skills, Scott. Negatory Ghost Rider, maintain <laughs> formation. Don't worry. I recorded the whole thing, and I'll post it. No, you here. didn't. I did. You don't know my life. <clears throat> <laughs> What's it? All right. What what else you got going on, Buffon? Uh, you got you got some categories. What are categories that you guys have? Oh yeah, the categories are in a certain order to where you can go in as many as you want. If you line it up just right, you'll be beardless by the end. This it's is up to you. great. Oh, it's up I to me, Aaron. Yeah. So the first one in order is going to be kids realistic, kids creative, full beard freestyle, silver fox, ginger. Full beard over 12, full beard 12 inches and under, whiskerina realistic, partial beard freestyle, whiskerina cr- creative, full beard 8 inches and un- under, full beard 4 inches and under, styled mustache, whaler, 
Chops, Goatee, Natural Mustache, Group, Best in the Show, Furthest Travel, and Biggest Club. But I wanted that vision at first, but I didn't have it. It was all thanks to Miss Natalie Johnson for uh, helping me out with that because that was huge help, huge help. Never heard of her. Oh, you're a lie. So she said, you're welcome. Um, that I've never so heard of her. Do multiple categories. Are you going to be required to pay another entry fee or how's that going to work? It's $15 for one category, $20 for as many as you want to get into. That's awesome, man. That's, that's yeah. going to be a really good time for everybody. And for kids, it's any donation for, for a kid's entry. It can be a quarter to a hundred dollars, just whatever you want to do. So you show up as a kid, you can still compete. And then if you age really quickly, you can go ahead. And the then it's other. only going to cost you a quarter. That's amazing. <laughs> Man, we're trying to get over. No. <laughs> if you show up as a kid, you can compete in the kids category. Thank you. <laughs> hey man, there is there there you gave us no fine print on that one. Yeah, I did. You're I didn't, right. You're I right. I went you over my me. notes and everything. It's fine. If it's fine. Yeah. So. <laughs> Awesome. That's it. That's not, yeah, that's it. So when does the uh, doors open and when does the competition start? The venue opens up at noon, I think Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So we're going to be up there set up doing registration for both days and we're trying to make the comp start about four o'clock Saturday. And four o'clock is, Saturday. Yeah. And what is going on Sunday then? Sunday, I think from 11 to 2, we're going to have the send off brunch. At the, at the same place, if you want to attend. What are you going to eat? Are you going to eat crawdads? Crawfish. I'm going to pinch some tails and suck some heads. Oh, my God. That sounds gross. <laughs> that's, a, that's a button right there. I, we need a button so we can record clips like that, and I can just push the button. Yeah. Put, what, some, what did he say again? Pinching tails and something. sucking heads? Yeah. Pinching go. tails yeah. and sucking heads. I'm writing it down. Very good. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. That could be the next talking beard shirt right there. Pinching tails and sucking heads. You're going to learn today. That's right. <laughs> who's your MC for this event on Saturday? Sir? Who, who's your MC for the event on Saturday? Oh, man. So, making her first appearance as MC ever is going to be my wife, Phyllis Fontenot. Woo. Breaking news. Breaking news. Breaking news. Mrs. Buffon. Mrs. Buffon going to make her MC debut. That's awesome, man. I'm excited. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah, cool. It's gonna be cool. But you really brought a lot of breaking news to the show tonight. That's You're what gonna he does. really help us win a Peabody Award this year for <laughs> our news uh, news reporting. There you wow. go. You did see this, right? Oh, talking oh, beer. Uh, it's the year. The year. It's the that's year. Awesome. Time Magazine said so. There's the cover right there. They don't. That's lie. real. That's it's real. real. That's it definitely real. <laughs> it was really there. Next week. Yep. So any, right. anything else you you got you got uh, what are you drinking there, bud? There's some peach crown and strawberry panda, sir. Ooh, that sounds fancy. Mm, it's wonderful. So uh, I'm any, drinking agua. agua. I'm drinking moonshine, pure moonshine. Hey. <laughs> <sighs> I'm you so sit on a throne of lies. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> you do. It's a it's a Tama drum throne, actually. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> you're stupid. You're stupid. You're stupid. <laughs> oh, what? What were you? You had a question you're going to ask. Him. I was just going to ask him if he had anything else he wanted to share with us. No, like, you had another question. I wrote it down. Me? Yeah, you. Uh -oh. You wrote the question down? Yeah, because I, if you forgot it, I was gonna. I was gonna ask it. Then I forgot it. About the alligator. Oh yeah. Why are alligators so ornery? I don't know. Because they have all them teeth and no toothbrush. No? Is that your favorite movie? Me? Golly. Yeah, is that your favorite uh, movie? Do you like that, John? He doesn't even or, know what movie it's from. It's like a documentary, right? What, Water, Water Boy? Boy? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good classic. I'll say that. Yeah, yeah that's a good classic. <laughs> I thought it was a documentary about people from Louisiana. Is it not? Yeah, it's a... Uh, it's, it's, it's made to look like it, yeah. <laughs> but I bet you it was shot in Los Angeles. Yeah, I bet it Probably was. So. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, nuts. 
So, but yeah, other than that, uh, any anything else? Uh, what 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 do you uh, where are you planning on? Is there any place you're planning on going this year to compete, or are you just kind of staying local? Uh, we're doing this this weekend. Next weekend, we're going to Mudcat in uh, Shreveport. Oh yeah, that's a, that's a good event. Where Miss Allegretti will be judging from Come Denmark, Florida. She uh, do you know she was on Sesame Street? That's what I hear. That's what that's I hear. I also hear that she likes to put ice cubes near stairs. I don't know though. <laughs> you weren't even there, and you knew that. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> yeah. So in in Austin, she was she saw some kids coming, so she threw ice cubes on the stairs. So she was trying to make them fall down the stairs. Oh my God. God. Yep. Yeah. She is. Ellie was busy. She she wasn't there. So it's she true. <laughs> Apparently, according to John Turns Fox, Waterboy was shot in his hometown of Deland, Florida. I love that play. Oh, cool. What awesome. Florida? No, the land, because every time we pass, I'm like, oh, look, the land. So it's like inland a little bit. So when people found it, they're like, you know what? I don't want to live on the beach. I'm going to live on the land. And then they moved in. <laughs> Boy, you and your dumb dad jokes. And you're not even a dad. No, we already went, I, we've already said I, this. I think it it's true. <laughs> like, <clears throat> All right. Jake Boykin said something. Where what? I don't know. Something wrong with his medulla oblongata. <laughs> Talk about you. Yeah. Me? <laughs> no, there's nothing wrong with my medulla oblongata. Breaking news from Chicken Bread. Christine hates children. What? I don't know. Shannon said it. Is it breaking news? Breaking, news. breaking news. Breaking news. Breaking news. <laughs> Thank you for bringing that in, uh, Chicken bread. We Boykin wants it. to know if the land is near the water. No, it's near the land. <laughs> Come on, <laughs> catch up, man. <laughs> Whoa, uh, OMG! Uh, I have two of them uh, little f caters. <laughs> mm. He hates them. That's why she was trying to knock them down the stairs. Oh <laughs> right man! Or. Michelle yeah, Emerson no. says it can be seen from the plane, and then John <laughs> Fritos says, "No, it's near the sea." John Fritos, I bet his dog smells like him. <laughs> his feet, his dog's feet smells like him. There we go. That's what yeah, I was going to say. Do you see how many people are in the room right now? Sixty-nine. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> All right. Well, do uh, you have any any last minute? things you want to huh greg rittner's here oh my gosh we We have the devil we have all the whole law firm now yeah we have rittner bittner mittner and weinstein Weinstein. (laughs) greg's done doing crossfit now so he can finally tune in (sighs) boy are his arms tired so all right john uh yeah so Make sure if you are in the uh, West Monroe, Louisiana area this weekend, you can come check out Backyard Beer Brawl. And comp starts at 4, doors are at 12 o'clock noon. Come by, uh, see Uncle Si, take your picture with him, shake hands, and ask him if if he's one of those guys on Talking Beards. That's what I'm going to ask him (laughs) because, you know, I've only been asked 9,000 times if I, you know, you know, I like Duck Dynasty or if I'm one of those Duck Dynasty guys. So I'm I'm going to ask him, like, are, you want talking beards? You want them talking beards, or, guys? Or go, hey, you look like the guy from uh, ZZ Top. He going to look at you and go, what? That's what I say. <laughs> hey, man, you you like Duck Dynasty? That's what, that's what I'll ask him. I'm like, what? I've never heard Duck Dynasty. <clears throat> Yep, that's what I'll do. So, all right, buddy. Um, appreciate you stopping by, and yes, sir. everybody, everybody will be there. So you better yeah. have the doors wide open because you're gonna have about nine thousand people showing up to this event. Bring it more than merrier. So appreciate it. We'll see you Friday night, and yes, that's it. Okay, bye. Yes, sir. Good luck Good to night. you, John. Good luck to you. All right. Au revoir, Pee Wee. Au revoir. Did it. Did it. Done. Good, John Fotenot. Thank you for joining us tonight. Make sure you guys go to the Backyard Beard Brawl this weekend, Louisiana. Backyard Beard Brawl, L.A. Yes. Thank you. A legit interview with Cy. 
too legit. Really? Too legit. Too. Huh. Oh, hey. That's what I'll say to him, and he'll say that back, apparently. I don't know. I don't know if I could do a legit interview. That's that's Scott's thing. I don't know how to do interviews. Lester says Duck Dynasty is hilarious. Pfft. Talking Beards is hilarious. Talking, that's right. Blink, so blink. now, now it is the time in the Talking Beards program where we do now. Now we will do a Talking Beards trivia. So this week it is This Week in History, March 3rd edition. And ta da! We'll have some Talking Beards soap. So yeah, it's original. So kind of what I'm thinking, unless otherwise I'm told. If I'm otherwise told differently, something like that, unless you tell me differently, if you're a guy, I'll, I'll send you the beard and body. And if a girl wins, I will send you the handmade soap. Ooh, unless that's... you're a girl and you just want the beard soap for a loved one or whatever. You want your girl to smell like a fish? It says right on there. What? Do you want the, you want the girl to smell like a fisherman? Ooh. Yeah. Fisherman. Fishermen smell good. Yeah, and I'll probably send you a sticker and I don't know. Another sticker. Yeah, so yeah, so if you win trivia tonight, hey Dan, make sure you hit up me, Natalie, or Scott with your address, unless you've already won, and then we'll do our best to get that out to you. So we're we're trying our best to get caught up on any trivia. So if you have uh won trivia in the past and somehow we've missed you before Natalie took over keeping track of this stuff. Um, just send us a message and we'll send you some soap or something and some flyers and stickers. And um, all that good. We have a, a message in the uh, chat room. Someone wrote uh, a statement about your face. Never looked interesting, says Patrick White. Yeah, that was about your face. Yep. That was about your face. I, he actually just texted me and said, "I'm watch this. I'm going to post something about Scott. So you're wrong. Um, he just texted me and said that's not true. <laughs> hit up Aaron or Natalie just hit Scott so there you go the writer of the trivia says just punch Scott in the throat the neck not the throat the back of the neck I guess yeah get with, let's just let's just be real if, if you want uh, if you win trivia or like I said if we owe you trivia product send Natalie a message so we can get this taken care of so we, we sent out several I think we're caught up if not just send me a message, and we'll get you caught up. So. Well, Mike Van Aken, you got to pl- play trivia tonight. So if you win trivia, we'll send you some Honest Amish stuff. But- That's right. And if you do not win trivia, you can always go to HonestAmish.com. I think there's a uh, product code, code JB15. You can get 15% off the website. That's Josh Black 15 And so JB15 and... You can also get it on Amazon. You can get it, you know, probably within the hour. Or you um, can drive to your local Walmart. They carry it there too. A lot of Walmart does carry stuff. Uh, the Walmart is not carrying soap yet, yet. So Walmart will be carrying the soap very soon. And yeah, so they just have the wax, the regular balm, and the classic oil at Walmart. But like I said, you go to honestimers.com, you can get any product. Amazon is a little bit less of a variety, and then Walmart is another step down, but it's incredibly convenient because it's at Walmart. You're so, convenient. On that note, question number one. What singer and cultural icon made his first TV appearance on a broadcast of radio show Louisiana Hayride? On the 3rd of March, 1955. Once again, let's make these questions super easy and like relevant that are going on currently in the world. On this day in history. In 1958. Five. Bon Jovi. Elvis Presley. Thank you. Good job, Ben Reed. See, people know. You shut up, Scott. Steve Hooglin also know. Yeah. Schaefer knew. Question number two. Happy Unique Name Day. What Grammy winning singer named her children with Gavin Rosdale, Apollo Bowie Flynn, 
Kingston James McGregor and Zuma Nesta Rock. So, who married Gavin Rosdale, the lead singer of the worst rock band of all time? I used to think that too till I saw him last summer, and I was really impressed by them. Huh? I know. DG. DG. Gwen Stefani. Good job, DG. We like, may or may not own OU product. I as like well. Patty Labelle. Patty Labelle was incorrect. Chicken bread. Question number three. Three. Herbert Hoover officially declared the Star Spangled Banner the national anthem today in 1931. Who wrote this classic American song? Ding, Cannibal Corpse. Ding, wrong. Damn. So the national anthem was written by who? If anybody watched the NASCAR race race on Sunday, you should uh, YouTube a uh, national anthem for that race because that little girl smashed it. She was absolutely full of life. She was like an eight-year-old little girl. She was extremely energetic singing that. So, All right, so it's Francis Scott Key is the answer. Riley Griffin is the winner of question number three. <laughs> Question number four. What Beavis and Butthead spinoff show about a <sighs> misanth what? <sighs> what Beavis and Butthead spinoff show about a teenage girl debuted on MTV on this date in nineteen ninety seven? Daria Ben Reed coming in hot no wait yep that was right Ben Reed <clears throat> good job Ben and he also mentioned me in a comment question number five what panhandle state was the 27th state admitted into the union on March 3rd 1845 what panhandle state was the 27th state admitted into the union March 3rd, 1845? Florida. Uh-oh. Riley Griffin. Riley. I got it. I, I, I can't catch him. There we go. Riley Brian Griffin. Question number six. What inventor of the microphone and regular size phone would have celebrated his 173rd birthday today? What inventor of the microphone and regular sized phone would have celebrated his 173rd birthday today? Ding. <clears throat> Patty Le Marconi invented the radio. Get it right, Ben Reed. Yeah, Ben Reed. And he ripped Duh. it off uh, Riley Griffin. There you go. Alexander, Alexander Graham Bale. Squeeze me. Alexander. Alexander. That's what <laughs> I was about to call him. Holly John. Holly John's here. Question number seven. What's the score, Natalie? What's the score, Natalie? Riley Griffin has three. Ben Reed Riley two. Three. Ben Reed two. DG one. Question number seven. As it is National Cheerleading Week, because we all knew that, what award winning film had sequels subtitled In It to Win It? All of Nothing. All or Nothing and Fight to the Finish. What cheerleading movie had sequels in it to win it, all or nothing, and fight to the finish? Bring it on, Riley Griffin. Sorry. You were so close, Shan Chicken Bread. He just Not, didn't, want, he didn't want to get on it. No, he did. He just wanted to bring it. It's already been brought in. <laughs> you got served. Uh. Whatever. 
Question number eight. What actress, model, and singer and pride of Ellie, Eli, Eli Minnesota, Heathers. is celebrating her 37th birthday today, possibly without husband Justin Timberlake? What actress, model, and singer and pride of Ellie, Minnesota, is celebrating her 37th birthday today? Ely. Uh oh, Ben Reed. Jessica Beale. Did he spell it right? He did. Question number nine. <laughs> what bearded 19th president of the United States took the oath of inauguration on this date in 1877? Inauguration. Inauguration. What bearded 19th president of the United States took the oath of inauguration on this date in 1877? <clears throat> Full name. Mm -mm -mm. Who was the 19th president? I'm not a crook. America. Wrong. I mean, they, see, you got to put what Andrew put on the answers. So I don't, you know, I mean, everybody should know this. I mean, or we could just go with first and last name. Do you want to go with what I have or first and last name, Scott? Um, I don't know. Has anyone answered it correctly yet? Yep. I, we have. Okay. So I'm going with what I have. All right. It's, Michelle Emerson, Rutherford B. Hayes. That's what the answer was. I don't know what to tell y'all. Had a B in it. Yeah, for B. Yeah, for B. It was his middle name. He was a B, B. cup. So there you go. Um, also, question for the chat. We have discussed this a couple times, and we haven't actually pulled the trigger on it, but would someone – any of y'all want to do a live trivia? Like we bring in three people and do some sort of trivia that way. Just, you know, try something different or maybe that'll be the new thing. I don't know how exactly we would get these three people, but, you know, maybe we'll make a post later earlier in the day or something like that. But yeah, and the first people that sign up for it are the three people that compete. So yeah. then you all can watch as we go live with those three people. I think that'd be pretty fun. We could try that. And then that way it would give more of a even playing field for everyone to actually win. So we're not having the same people win like all the time. Yeah. And it's, you know, it's always about internet speed and connection and all that. Cause a lot of people, you know, you you're winning, but maybe it's just because you're, you, you're connected better than everybody else or something like that. So if everybody's in the same stream, you know, it's all about who's actually getting it. So Yeah. It's an idea we've tossed around. Yeah, Just for, we've actually been talking about this since, God, the middle of last year, if not longer than that. And we could have championships. Look at that. Oh, my God. It always takes it to the next level. So, Champions. yeah. Right, we might do that pretty soon. So, on that note, question number 10. The first recorded hockey game that took place in Montreal, Canada on this date in what year? Basically, what year was hockey invented? Uh, 1492. First recorded hockey game took place in Montreal, Canada on this day in what year? Yes, on ice, Shannon. Hockey game on ice. Wrong. Wrong. Y'all are, are getting close. Holly John's the closest so far. Boom. Matt McLeod. He knows his hockey. Wow. All right. So where are we at, Natalie? Are you serious, Omar? 1974. Come on. Ben 
All right. So was it Ben? Riley, Riley Griffin, congratulations. So uh, you are the winner of trivia this week. So make sure you send Natalie your address. I believe we have it, but send it again just for good. She has it, and we've sent you stuff, I do believe. So, oh, yeah, we we have your address, <laughs> Brian Griffin, but we have one more question. Might as well ask it. <clears throat> Tiebreaker question for nothing. Whose name, if repeated three times, will allegedly cause her to appear and drink an entire bottle of Costco whiskey? Casco. <clears throat> Whose name, if repeated three times, will allegedly cause her to appear out of nowhere and drink an entire bottle of Casco whiskey, and it is also her birthday? <laughs> How's <clears throat> Did you not read these questions? No, I didn't, but that's funny, though, because I was going to guess that name. Not Bloody Mary. No, come on, y'all. I wished her a happy birthday already in the chat room earlier. It is Joey Rumpel Stillskin, Crystal Davis. So happy birthday, Crystal Davis. Now chug your bottle of Casco whiskey. So that's it. We did it. We did it. It's all been good. Yeah, so congratulations, uh, Brian Griffin, and uh, yeah, so we'll we'll get you, eh, we'll get you your soap sent out to you promptly. So this is it. Thank you for tuning in tonight. Um, this has been a very successful episode fifty nine of Talking Beards. Next week, episode sixty, with uh, starring the world's hottest chocolate and me dying. Thank you. So thank you for tuning in. Uh, we appreciate Andrew for coming up with uh, trivia and the uh, the Uncle Cy little picture with the share. And if anybody will be in Monroe, West Monroe, Louisiana this weekend, stop by, say hello to me and Natalie, and I'll have some Talking Beard stickers and flyers. And I will not forget my Aaron stickers. And I'll, you know, I'll probably have some Honest Amish stuff. So if you watch the show, you come up to me and you say, you know, Hey, give me some honest Amish stuff. I will I will give you something because I'll have some products with me. So I will remember. I will not forget like I did in Austin. So yeah. um yeah, that's it. Thank you for tuning in, guys. And gals, people. And I am Scott Sakura. Uh you can find out more information about the show by going to talkingbeards.com. We'd appreciate it if you uh, went over and liked our Facebook page. We broadcast live there every Tuesday, 8 p.m. Eastern. And go over and join the BS Button Beard Bulletin Board. Uh, and if you by some chance happen to be in Cleveland this weekend, you can come see myself and Dan C. Bearded. We will be at Wizard World Comic Con. Uh, hunt us down. We're going to be a couple bearded guys walking around talking to some bearded folks and some uh, people dressed up in uh, costume and stuff. So, uh, if you buy, like I said, if you're in the Cleveland area this weekend and, and at Wizard World Comic Con, please find us. Um, other than that, that's about it. Go over to talkingbeards.com. You can get everything you need over there. Go subscribe to the podcast, which will be out this Friday. And I guess that's it. So, make sure everyone goes to uh, Louisiana this weekend to go check out their competition. And that's all I got for right now. So thank thank you everyone for tuning in. We greatly appreciate you. And you know, go tell a friend about the show if you like it. We would love that. Even if you don't like it, tell them to watch anyway. Omar. Well oh Omar. Omar, we will get some gold buttons made for you, my friend. So yeah, we one thing we talked about before that we never really followed through with, we had a bunch of talking beards buttons. And if you collected them all, we were gonna make a gold talking beards button and we never did. So we'll do that. We'll we'll make some gold talking beards buttons for Omar, and we'll give them out to other people as well. So thank you for tuning in. Okay, bye. Bye, everyone. Thank you. We hope you enjoyed this week's episode of the Talking Beards podcast. You can find out more information by going to talkingbeards.com. There you can subscribe to the podcast, make a donation to our show, 
or pick up some really cool Talking Beards merchandise. We hope to see you in the chat room. You can find us over at facebook.com slash Talking Beards if you want to participate in our chat. Thank you again for checking the show out, and we hope you have a great week. Make sure you come back next week at 8 p.m. on Tuesday evening to watch the show live. Until next time, thanks. Thanks.